There we go. That's the one that bit earlier. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Bash and Bass TV. Today, we have a review video for you. In this video, I'm reviewing the Guggenbaits Zinger. It's basically just their spinnerbait. They have a willow blade and a Colorado blade on all of their spinnerbaits that I've seen in stores so far. The one that I used in this video is white and chartreuse skirt, and then I added a Zoom single tail grub. That's like this see-through uh, chartreuse. It's called chartreuse pepper, and it was awesome. I'm gonna tell you guys right now that this is the best spinnerbait I've ever used. When you reel it in, you feel vibration way more than any other spinnerbait. I don't know what they did differently, but it works. And if you've ever watched videos of mine, you know that I am not a spinnerbait guy, and this has converted me. Love using the spinnerbait. Get tons of fish, got some pretty good sized ones, including a really big one at the very end before I decided to post this video. So it was like one of those cool last cast kind of moments. Uh, also, you will see, you'll hear me say, this is the one that hit earlier. I accidentally deleted that footage. So that big fish at the end did hit this lure and shook off and then hit it again later. So keep that in mind when you watch that. I really have to say, again, best spinnerbait on the market, hands down. I mean, I, I love this thing. There's not much more else I can say about it. If you haven't already, check me out on Instagram at Bash and Bass TV. Hit that subscribe button down below. Hit the notification bell. Give me a like on this video. It helps with the algorithms and I get more content out to you guys. And until next time, just keep bashing. Oh, that's a good hit. I don't know if it's a good fish, but it hit it hard. That's decent. It's not too shabby. He hit it so hard though. He's about a pound. Look at that though. He choked it. Easy pop out. It's the first fish in quite a while for me. That that harsh winter blast came through and killed fishing for about a month. So it's nice to get a decent one. There we go. It's not a bad one. That's not too shabby for what I've been getting lately. All right, let's get those out of him. There we go. Oh, so, still, you know, not a big one. It's a little over a pound. I bet it probably about pound and a quarter but when you've been getting dinks lately that makes you happy there's another one this one's better there we go I mean, he hit that almost right when it landed. That's what I'm talking about. All right, just because it's the biggest one I've caught in a while, I'm gonna wear. Two pounds on the dot. That's the biggest fish of 2021 so far. Nice little two pounder there, beautiful. Ah, oh, I had another one. I had one hit it. That sucked. I think they're all stacked in this little area right here, across the way from me. 
They're already shredding the skirt on this thing too. There we go. Oh, it's an even bigger one. The line is stuck behind my camera. There we go. Gotta weigh this girl. You know I gotta weigh this one. This is this has gotta be more than two pounds. Two pounds four two pounds three ounces. <sighs> Beautiful football. It's a tall fish. It's got a little gut on her. She's starting to feed up. That's good. Beautiful. This spinnerbait is killing it today. Killing it. There we go. Another two pounder. God, they are killing this thing today. Turn this on. I'd say it's another two pounder. Almost, 113. So close to two pounds. But still, a nice fish. Damn good fish. There's another one. Not very big. Even the little dinky guys are biting. Dare I say I'm a converted spinnerbait fisherman now. I need to get a new one though, look at this. Oh, we'll replace the trailer too. That skirt is shredded to pieces already. So, I think Field and Stream is on the agenda today. All right, so today I'm using the Chartreuse and White Spinnerbait by the Guggen Baits. This is 3 8 ounce. And I'm pairing it with the Zoom Fat Albert Grubs, the Chartreuse Pepper color as a trailer. And the nice things about these baits right here is they actually have attachments like little hooks and barbs for trailers which a lot of other spinner baits that i've ever used don't have that and i really like that feature that it has that just going to pop that on go down about halfway come out slide it all the way up and onto the barbs and voila we're ready to go there's a good one. Well, he hit hard like he was a good one. It was about a pound and a half. So, not too shabby. He hit hard. That was the hardest hit of the day. Like, he just came up and smacked it. There we go. That's the one that bit earlier. That's the one that bit earlier. Come on up. Got him. There we go. 
Yes! Ha! Look at that bucket mouth. He was barely hooked. Look at that. He's barely hooked. Like that. One more head shake and he could have popped off. Alright. I'm saying this has got to be close to four pounds if not more. I was wrong. Three and a half. So, biggest fish of 2021 so far. Three and a half pounds. Caught on that Guggen bait swim, uh, spinner bait. Look at that beautiful fish. That's a good fish. All right, I'm gonna get to the shortest point that I can just toss her in gently, because this is all mud. There she goes, safe and sound back home. Boom. <laughs>